Hi everyone, it's Dave with BNP Press. Let's go over how to directly create PDFs straight out of Quark Express 7 or 8. In this case, we're going to be using Quark Express 7. Now, on a side note, the PDF engine inside of Quark 6 and below had problems, uh, mostly with transparencies. Quark 7 and better yet, Quark 8's PDF making engine is much much better and uh, would recommend upgrading to at least seven if not eight. Now the first thing we have to do is tell Quark that we want it to make a PDF and not a post -rip. And we accomplish that by going to Quark Express, Preferences, and in this case PDF. Notice where it says PDF workflow, we want it to say direct to PDF. Click OK and then we'll go File export layout as PDF. Believe it or not, this is where we uh, gather our settings and set them up ahead of time. So, notice down here where it says PDF style captured settings and then options. Let's click options. And the first thing we're going to do is get our options set up, then name them. Now this is kind of uh, squirrely. And each step has to be uh, done in a specific order so that it will keep these settings. Okay, so for our purposes, let's go to Pages, make sure everything is not checked here. Then we go to our metadata. In this case, the title defaults to the name of the document. You feel free to put your name here under Author. The next one is Hyperlinks. Since we're creating a... Uh, PDF for printing, we want to make sure to uncheck include hyperlinks. And then compression. We always want to go to the best, which is automatic zip JPEG high. We want to buy cube buy cubic down sample to 300. These settings are kind of high, but it's always better to go higher than lower. Same thing for the grayscales. Buy cubic down sampling to 300. The monochromes change. They go to CCITT Group 4 and they subsample to 1200. 1200. And it's always better to uncheck compressed text and line art. The old days of having to save every little megabyte are over and we can feel free to, to uh, not have to compress those things. We can make a little bit bigger file. Notice how I'm not clicking OK or any other menu. Right now we're just going to get everything set up. Everything needs to be set up ahead of time then we can go back and save. Color, we're going to go composite. Composite CMYK. The fonts, we're going to select all. Now the marks, we always want off. We will put on the marks specific to the printing press ourselves. No need for you to trouble yourself. Under bleed, uh, in this case, this particular setup is going to be for no bleed. Notice how everything is straight zeros. The layers, we always want the layers. The transparency, uh, we want to upsample to 300. Now, in Quark 8, there is a function to uh, flatten transparency, and you want to make sure that's turned on. The OPI, we want off. And the JDF, we want off. Now, this is where it's kind of squirrely. We don't want to click OK, we actually want to click Custom, New PDF Style. And notice how the PDF style says PNP Press. I'm going to make sure now every time that I'm about to send a file, when I go Export, Layout, and PDF, I'm going to make sure PNP Press is selected. There's my name at the top. I'm going to go ahead and save this directly out as a PDF. And that is how to export directly out of Cork Express 7 or 8 PDF. Thank you.